Okay guys, welcome back. Jack of all trades on vacation. Uh, a friend of mine had a great idea to uh, clean the nails out of the wood fire and recycle the ash. So once the campfire burns out and get them in daylight there, we're going to show you this great idea. Okay, this is the next day. We had a little bit of rain. It should be a little dry. So what are you going to do, Jim? I am just going to rake out some of the crap that's left over from our, our other, like last night's burn. Yeah. And just a little bit of rain, but we can get the surface stuff off. Okay. And you, as you can see, it's still very dry. It wasn't very much of a rain. And I have invented an ingenious way for everyone to clean their fire pit. It's cheap, it's cost effective. A little bit tedious and long-suffering, but you can do it. And it's great, uh, it produces great wood ash for your garden. The things you'll need is first of all, a wheelbarrow. Okay. Number one. <laughs> What's that? What this is, is an old speaker. You take a, a speaker from a, an old, uh, well, you take the speaker out of an old cabinet. If you have any of those old wooden cabinets that have the speakers in them, you can get them at uh, sales, lawn, uh, yard sales. Yeah. You can get them at uh, the dollar, or not the dollar store, but uh, Salvation Army, places like that. They're selling the old speakers. You take the, uh, the wood cabinet apart, and you take the screws, take the speaker out. This is a speaker. It'll have material around it. You take the material off, and what you have left on the bottom what is the weight of all speakers is a magnet. You tie a rope to it, you got yourself a magnet. Okay, what's that used for? This is for extracting uh, metal staples, nails, and any metals that come from burning skids or burning wood that has nails in it. A lot of guys will burn skids in their, uh, in their fire pits. And what this does is this removes all the metal. Uh, okay, where do you keep your uh, wood? Show me where you keep your wood. Where I keep my wood? Yeah, your skids and stuff. Like uh, you got the dry wood up here. There's the dry wood here. Okay, but where's the uh, wood with the nails in it? Well, I had skids, but they're all gone. I burned them all up. This here is a scrap bin. Oh, okay, so you got nails in all this wood? Yeah, I have a scrap bin. In this scrap bin. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. There's yeah. nails and everything in certain wood. Yeah. Depends if you're you're running low on wood. Or your wood isn't dry yet. A lot of guys will. And what's will in that? Grab what's skids. in that bucket there? This in this bucket is what I've already is extracted from the fire pit. Okay. Okay. okay so it. basically, you're going to recycle the ash for the gardens, and you want to get all the nails out. That's correct. And the nails can be used for scrap. You got enough of these nails out of there, and you got enough buckets filled. You can take this on your trailer and your car or truck. And you can take this to the scrap yard and they'll weigh you and you can throw this in the scrap pile, of course, way out on the way on the way out, and then uh, hopefully you'll make a few dollars. Okay, so just to show you the power of a magnet. Let me see. Look at that. Oh nice. Look at that, eh? Six all the nails. Yep. That's it? What I'll do is I'll start breaking up. Some of the soil. You got to do this. Like I said, it's, a, it's not for the guy who's got nothing to do. And he's got a few days off, and you want some good wood ash for your garden. It's very wood ash, as most people know, is very healthy for the garden. It'll help things grow a lot better. It's a good fertilizer. Yeah, this is even good if it, if, if people are going to be putting this stuff in like like if you didn't have this as wood ash, where would you put the ashes in a garbage bag? Well, you'd put them in a scrap pile and kind of leave it, and it would be. What am I going to do with this stuff? It's uh, yeah, but it's good to get the nails out because if you put it in bags, the, the the nails will rip right through the bags. That's right. And if you put this stuff directly in the garden, you're going to have your rototiller with your tines going through all the nails, nails and stuff. And you got to walk through your garden. You're going to see all this metal in your garden sticking out and nails. It's not a few times to make sure the nails are stubborn. They're buried. See that? Nice. I have to admit that. <coughs> but for wood ash for your garden, 
to make your vegetables and stuff grow better. Wood ash is recommended for gardens. The only way you can get wood ash is from your fire pit. So how are you gonna clean your What's in the wood ash that makes it, what's in the wood ash that makes it so good? Do you know? Uh you know what? That's a good question. The wood ash itself I hear is a good fertilizer for the gardens. Uh, what I understand it's a good organic fertilizer. Okay, well they can always look it up uh on the web. Find out what other people say about wood ash. Yeah, This is where you store your ash. Where it's warm ash. Make sure you have a because of the ground, the nature of the ground, and sand getting all messed up with all the other leaves and needles and stuff, you want to put it on a tarp. You want to cover it up, keep it so it doesn't get wet. Such a smart way to recycle your uh, campfire wood ash. And that'll stay dry, eh? When it rains? That will stay dry if you cover it up properly, yeah. It'll stay dry. Not really a whole lot of work. As long as you just, like anything, you just take care of it. There's the mound. If you ever want to clean your fire pit out and get yourself some, some nice scrap for a later date to to get some a little bit of money for, you want to clean your, your fire pit out with a magnet. This is a speaker magnet. It cleans out, gives you a nice wood ash, and you put that as fertilizer in your garden. That'll help your garden. Help.